Well, folks, Bud Light did a horrible job with its advertising campaign. They hired Dylan Mulvaney, a man dressing as a woman, and it absolutely destroyed the brand. Miller Lite was like, hold my beer. The entire society has decided that it is absolutely imperative to go woke as fast as humanly possible. I don't understand the marketing uh, at many of these major American companies that have decided to alienate as many males from their constituency as possible when their entire constituency and consumer base is male. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. So the latest idiots to get into this business, apparently this is a slightly old commercial, but I guess people have been doing this for a while and people are noticing now, is Miller Lite. So we had Bud Light, which decided they were going to blow up their entire brand and destroy their credibility with their entire audience by hiring a dude masquerading as lady. Now, Miller Lite, a commercial has now re-emerged from Miller Lite talking about how they're very angry at themselves. They're very angry because it used to be that they would do commercials featuring beautiful women in order to entice men to buy beer. I know, unthinkable. So they've decided that instead, they're no longer going to use beautiful women in their ads. I guess they're going to use somewhat unattractive women in their ads, and they're going to talk about all of their commitments to women. I I have a question. How many women are like regular devotees of Miller Lite, are leading the Miller High Life here? Who who are the morons in charge of these ad agencies, truthfully? Like, who who are they? Here's Here's the Miller Lite ad. From Mesopotamia to the Middle Ages to colonial America, women were the ones doing the brewing. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. Wow. No, how dare. How dare. Wow, look at this. Shit. Wild. It's time beer made it up to women. So today, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just their shit, but the whole beer industry's shit. Miller Lite. Okay, has so pause been it for a second. I, I had a tough time listening to her because there were women in bathing suits in the background. I noticed. Like, I mean, what does she think advertising is? What do these people think advertising is? I, I love that they're like, We would never show women in bikinis in our ads. And then it's just like a wall full of women in bikinis in this ad. Like, let's not pretend we know what they're doing. And then it's like, we are going to, we're standing up for women by apparently composting. That's really where they're going with this commercial. Get ready. And buying it back so that they can turn it into good for women brewers. Literally good. How you ask? Ladies, take it away. That good helps farmers grow quality hops. Which has been donated to women brewers. Most to make farmers are women, did you know? But there's definitely more shit out there. In your attic, in the garage, in your parents' basement. Send any shit you got into Miller Lite, and they'll turn that into good shit, too. Oh. So here's to women. Because without us, there would be no beer. Here's to women, because without us, there would be no beer. Without men, you will have no customers, my friend. Also, uh, that's not true. I'm just going to point out that if women were not there to produce the beer, men would be there to produce the beer. And lots of men have produced beer. But again, what is, who's the constituency for this? Who's like, oh, now I feel like buying a Miller Lite so I can have this woman who is not a bathing suit model lecture me about woke, about woke breweries and how we're going to turn like Christy Brinkley photos into compost. Oh man, that makes me feel like a Miller beer, like a Miller Lite. Who are the idiots who design these ad campaigns? It's so unbelievably stupid. But I guess this is, it's got to be some form of virtue signaling to just like an interior class of people because the people who run the ad agencies obviously are no longer in touch with their consumer base, which is kind of an amazing thing because again, literally your entire job is to get in touch with your consumer base. We'll get to more on this in a second. It's absolutely maddening and insane. First, remember the last time you got a free phone? Well, you started out feeling really good and then came the hefty activation fees, the four-line requirements, and of course, the binding contract. Pure Talk is giving you A free 5G Samsung Galaxy phone without the feeling that you've actually been duped. When you switch to Pure Talk's unlimited talk and text data plan that comes with a mobile hotspot, you get a 5G Samsung Galaxy for free. That's right, unlimited everything at a fraction of the price of Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile. Here's another thing. You'll be on America's most dependable 5G network. How do I know? Well, because I'm on that 5G network, I use Pure Talk myself. I made the switch over to Pure Talk for all my business calls. You can do the same. Make the switch to Pure Talk. It's the cell phone wireless company I'm proud to stand behind because they actually stand behind our mission here at Daily Wire. Pure Talk's U.S. customer service team helped me make the switch in as little as 10 minutes. I was even able to keep my phone number. Go to puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Get your free Samsung Galaxy when you sign up for unlimited talk, text, and unlimited data. That's puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Pure Talk, wireless for Americans, by Americans. Again, they're on the same big... 5G network is, is one of the big guys. So there's no reason. You're, you're, you lose nothing and you save a lot of money and you're using a company that doesn't hate your guts. Go check them out right now. Again, that is puretalk.com slash Shapiro to get started. When you're looking for a job, it can be tough to stand out from all the other candidates. On the flip side, when you're hiring, it can be tough to find like the right person for that job. 
This is why you need the magic of ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter helps you find the most qualified people for your roles fast. Right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash Daily Wire. ZipRecruiter's matching technology helps you find the most qualified candidates for a wide range of roles. If you see a candidate you like, you can easily send them a personal invite so they're more likely to apply. Their user-friendly dashboard makes it easy to filter, review, and rate your candidates all from one place. Let ZipRecruiter help you find the best people for all your roles. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within day one. See for yourself. Head over to ZipRecruiter.com slash Daily Wire to try ZipRecruiter for free. Again, that is ZipRecruiter.com slash Daily Wire. ZipRecruiter is the smartest way to hire. That's why we've been using it here at Daily Wire ourselves for years. A bunch of our best employees came courtesy of ZipRecruiter. They can do the same for your business. They make it easy for good employees to find great employers and vice versa. Head on over to ZipRecruiter.com slash Daily Wire and try it out for free right now. Again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash Daily Wire. It is the smartest way to hire. For years, Donald Trump had suggested that the FBI was out to get him, that they had colluded with the Clinton campaign, they had colluded with the Obama administration, that the deep state had basically subverted his presidency. He said that it was the greatest scandal in American history. And... um. It appears he was right. Special counsel John Durham had been given the mandate to investigate the origins of the Trump-Russia collusion hoax. This was the story that that generated one million think pieces. It generated a thousand Pulitzers. It was a story that originated in 2016, and it lasted throughout the Trump presidency. It led to the Mueller investigation. It led to one of the impeachment charges. And now special counsel John Durham, who was given, again, remit by Bill Barr, who's the attorney general under Donald Trump, to investigate exactly where this investigation came from, considering it came up with pretty much nothing. He now has issued a 300-page report about where this investigation came from. It is absolutely shocking. It is damning. It is apparent that everyone in the FBI knew that this investigation was bullcrap right up front. It was very clear the Clinton administration was, the Clinton campaign was using the FBI to launder into public view and into law enforcement a bunch of bad allegations. It was clear that upper echelons of the Obama administration knew all of this was happening. Essentially, in an attempt to thwart the pending 2016 election and then the results of the 2016 election, the FBI and its top officials in coordination with members of the Obama administration and then just sort of internally inside the Trump administration decided that they were going to leak, issue report after report, initiate investigations that were nonsense. And they were going to do all of this because Trump had to be stopped. He was just that dangerous. And Hillary Clinton was going to lead the way and her campaign was going to lead the way. That is the essential result of the John Durham report. It's it's an insane report. So according to the Washington Post, the report coming almost four years to the day since Durham's assignment began will probably be derided by Democrats as the end of a partisan boondoggle. Republicans will have to wrestle with a much touted investigation that has cost taxpayers more than $6.5 million and didn't send a single person to jail. But here's the reality. People should go to jail over this because this is nuts. This is nuts. So we're going to go through a lot of the executive summary of this report. Again, it's 300 pages. We'll go through a few of the other aspects of the report. But what it uncovers is one of the most shocking scandals in American history. To think that the FBI could actually be activated on behalf of one of the campaigns. Well, that campaign was associating with the party in power, with the Obama administration, and that that was going to be used as the predicate for a wide-scale investigation that lasted years on end and cost the American taxpayer tens of millions of dollars, all because people hated Donald Trump and found him threatening and upsetting, is totally insane. You want to talk about the destro- uh, the destruction of all of America's fundamental trust in our institutions? 2016 is the year it began, and it has not abated ever since. And every everybody who even had a shred of trust in our institutions, you look at stories like this and you think, how could you have trust in our institutions after stuff like this? So the Durham report begins by asking a few questions. Quote, was there adequ- adequate predication for the FBI to open the Crossfire Hurricane investigation from its inception on July 31st, 2016, as a full counterintelligence and Foreign Agents Registration Act investigation, given the requirements of the AG's guidelines and the FBI policies. So in other words, was there any reason to even open the Crossfire Hurricane investigation? Crossfire Hurricane was the name given to the investigation into Trump-Russia collusion. Durham also asked, was the opening of Crossfire Hurricane as a full investigation on July 31st, 2016, consistent with how the FBI had handled other intelligence it had received prior to July 31st, 2016, concerning attempts by foreign interests to influence the Clinton and other campaigns? In other words, were they specifically going out of their way to target Trump, or was it just they were hitting Hillary and they were hitting Trump and they hit everybody? Third question, did the FBI properly consider other highly significant intelligence it received at virtually the same time as that used to predicate Crossfire Hurricane, but which related not to the Trump campaign, but rather to a purported Clinton campaign plan to vilify Donald Trump by stirring up a scandal claiming interference by Russian security services, which might have shed some light on the Russia information the FBI was receiving from third parties. In other words, 
Was the FBI using bad information? And did they know it was bad information when they were using it as the predicate for the crossfire hurricane investigation? And did they know that a lot of that information was originating with the Clinton campaign? Was there evidence that the actions of any FBI personnel or third parties relating to crossfire hurricane violated any federal criminal statutes? And was there evidence that the actions of the FBI or department personnel in providing false or incomplete information to the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court violated any federal criminal statutes? Durham says our findings and conclusions regarding these and related questions are sobering. So here is what they find. They say, as set forth in greater detail, the record in this matter reflects that upon receipt of unevaluated intelligence information from Australia, the FBI swiftly opened the crossfire hurricane investigation. In particular, at the direction of Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, Deputy Assistant Director for Counterintelligence Peter Strzok opened crossfire hurricane immediately. Now, you remember both of these people ended up leaving the FBI ignominiously. So Andrew McCabe ended up being thrown out of the FBI because he had leaked information apparently to the Wall Street Journal surrounding the Hillary Clinton investigation. So he was fired. And Peter Strzok, of course, had this love affair. He was a married man. Lisa Page was another married person. They're having an affair with each other and they were texting each other throughout Crossfire Hurricane about how Trump basically had to be stopped. So these were the people who opened Crossfire Hurricane. All righty, guys, the rest of the show continues right now. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be speaking with Senator Josh Howley of Missouri. It's a brand new book out about manhood. If you're not a member, become a member. Use code Shapiro. Check out for two months free on all annual plans. Click that link in the description and join us.